Hi, ARF.com. I'm Dr. Daniel Lang with Elm Point Animal Hospital. And briefly today I want to just discuss canine influenza. Fortunately in the St. Louis area we've not really had too much incidence of that, but probably about five or six years ago they found some cases out in Colorado and Florida and they weren't sure quite at the time what was causing the problems. The animals would come in with respiratory disease, sneezing, coughing, and off within a couple of days they got very, very ill enough that they had to be hospitalized and treated. Eventually they were able to isolate the virus, an influenza virus. Now this is not something that you and I can get, it's just strictly with the dogs. But every year it keeps getting closer to the St. Louis area. And all the states around St. Louis, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, we've had seen cases down there. And so we've become very proactive. Here at our animal hospital we do board a lot of animals, we do a lot of grooming. We probably see 50 to 60 animals a day with all those services. And so we basically require the vaccine as kind of a proactive to try to prevent any signs. And just like us people with vaccines, if you've been vaccinated for it, then that will protect them from getting the disease and getting the virus. And so far we've had very good luck. Are there symptoms when it comes to canine influenza? Well, the, the problem is sometimes like with us people with diseases, sometimes the pets can just be carriers. They can have the virus and maybe they're a little off, not eating quite as well, but they might not really show any signs at all. So often it can be very difficult to diagnose and the tests that actually detect the virus are very expensive and complicated so again we just think that it's a lot easier to prevent the problem than having to try to diagnose it and treat it if they do have a problem. Would you recommend um, all pets getting the, in the vaccine or does it depend on where you live? Or? It's a very good question. Generally the pets, if they're pretty much a backyard dog, you know, maybe go to the veterinarian once or twice a year, I would say probably that's not required. But if you do board your pet periodically, if you have your pet groomed every two or three months, again just Get the analogy like with us people, the more animals around other animals, the more likely I would suggest that if you go to dog parks, if you do a lot of walking in the neighborhoods where there are a lot of other animals, I think those are all indications that they have a dog. If untreated, what can happen to the pet? It potentially is fatal, but the mortality rate is pretty low, so it, it's more just the, the cost to the pet's health and just the, the cost of being hospitalized and that type of thing. So again, it's just a lot cheaper to have the immunizations, the vaccinations, instead of having to worry about the treatment.